seven. So here, 88, 95, these are the same. Haze is a little bit less on this one than it is over here. And R spec, which is kind of measuring the flatness, is a little bit better here than what it is here. But those numbers, those differences are very, very minor. Either one of those, I think, would work quite well. Um, so in this case, I'd say, yeah, we can go with either one. It would be fine. What we'll do, though, is we'll do a finish polishing test check the numbers again to see if there's uh, any difference in there. With a bigger throw, you have better reach down into here than if you had uh, the smaller throw on there.
way, way better. And you're not going to get in there with any other machine. Given the placement of this piece at the focal point, you'll see it regularly, the sun will be reflecting right in it. So the better job that we can do is getting it uh, reset free instead of the wheel. Way better. We have a, a black car. If it was a lighter color car, it wouldn't really matter as much. You're not going to notice a couple percent difference. But with a, a black car, we want to get as good of a finish as we possibly can. So we'll run with brand new pads. What I want you guys to do is I want you to get uh, start your area. So if you're starting right here, do a polish section. Stop, wipe it off, look at it with the light. Make sure you're not seeing any little hooks or anything in there. If so, we need to adjust the pressure, we need to adjust something uh, to get it looking good. If that looks good, then continue running your whole section, then wipe it off. Don't stop, but don't do a polish and then remove, and then polish and then remove. Do the whole area, because if your first section worked out fine, the rest of your section theoretically should work out fine too. So do that, and then when you go, go on to your next section, same thing, do one area, wipe it off, check it to make sure it still looks good. And then after two sections, it's probably all you're gonna to wanna to do before you switch out and get fresh pads. Um, when you have these areas right here, you're not doing the heavy scooping like you were doing with compounding. You just wanna to try to keep the pad as flat and keep it moving as much as possible through there. And those are gonna be the areas where chances are you'll see a little bit of, of hooks or something that's left over because you don't have that flat pad in there. So once you're done with it and you have any area that has that kind of contour, make sure to look at it closely to see that there's nothing in there. Um, speed, roughly speed four, if you're on a two, if you're on the, one of the, the, the first generations, speed four and a half, just um, a, a bit less pressure than what you were doing on a compounding stage. You can work a little bit bigger area with it. And then on your towels, we have a couple of the red towels left over. And then some of the white ones down there, the white ones may leave a little bit of uh, lint because those are uh, older ones. So just take a look, make sure we're not scratching it with the towels or anything. Um, other than that, same thing as before, whatever kind of uh, machines you want to use. Uh, there's going to be plenty of use in here with the three inch, the five inch, uh, using a duetto, whatever you want. So any questions before we get started? All right, let's crank away. Get to it. I'm see Daddy. I'm over here. Can you wave to everybody? Wave to the camera. Hi, everybody. They don't get big. Big, big tail.